This is Jane Fairweather, and thank you for watching Real Estate Car Talk. Today I'm going to have a conversation with one of my sellers. We've been on the market 30 days, and we're having the meeting to look at the feedback, find out what the agents and the buyers are saying to us, and make a decision about what we need to do to make sure in the next 30 days we are sold. So here are some of the signals. Uh, if you're asking yourself, is my price right? Am I overpriced? How will I know? Here's some things that you should be looking out for that'll tell you if you're an overpriced listing. So number one, if you have had 10 buyers through the door and no one's come back a second time, you are not making the short list. The short list is buyers go out, they pick the first or the second choice of the houses they've seen, they go back and look at them again, and then they pick between the first or the second choice and make their offer. If you're never making the short list, you are not in the game. If you've had 13 qualified buyers through the door, what's a qualified buyer? Someone who has gone to a lender, has the cash, the income, and the urgency to buy in 30 or 60 days. They usually come by appointment with a listing agent, I mean with a buyer's agent. They are not people that walk through your open house. If you've had 13 of these qualified buyers through the door and you've not had an offer, chances are you're overpriced. If you notice that when you came on the market, there were 10 houses competing against you in your market area, and five of them have sold, chances are you're overpriced. You're helping to sell the competition. So you don't wanna keep doing what you're doing because it's gonna get you the same result. And finally, if you've noticed that no one shows your house anymore, that means you've fallen off the tour list with real estate agents and they're saying to each other, don't bother showing that house because it's overpriced. So now you've lost what we call the gatekeepers. These are the people that convince their buyers to show your to see your house and to buy your house. You never wanna lose the gatekeepers. They're our first line of salespeople and we need them to help sell your property. So if any of these things are happening to your listing, call your listing agent and take responsibility for looking into price at this point. The longer you're on the market, the lower your offers will be. So the sooner you address the problem, the faster your house will sell. That's my tip for the day. Thanks for watching.